How's it going guys? Uh, John and I here from TRO. So it's February 1. We've been trying to keep ourselves occupied in the uh, deer off season. Uh, we're counting down the months till turkey season here in Northwest Indiana. We've been hearing a few gobbles out in the woods in the mornings and it's getting us excited to say the least. But we've been doing a lot of coyote hunting. Uh, a couple weeks ago John was actually able to shoot a red fox here in Northwest Indiana. That was a pretty cool kill. It was a really cool animal to see. Um, but yeah, we're excited to do another video. Yeah, so this video that's going to be coming up, we're actually uh, doing a little something different. Obviously, we don't have the footage that we usually do as we do in deer season. Um, but this video, we're going to be kind of featuring and uh, explaining a little bit about the, the guns or the weapons or bows that we use throughout the year. Um, we each have a little bit of different things, and I don't think we... We don't have the same thing at all, nope. um, so this should be a really cool video, and uh, we like to use different things throughout the year. It kind of keeps um, things, keeps the dust off of them, and they're not sitting in the gun safe all year, and um, it just keeps things interesting and enjoyable, so enjoy the video. guys first up uh, we got the newest gun to my collection so uh, first off fully empty okay safety's on um, so we got a Remington 783 uh, chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor um, this gun um, I've only had for about a month and a half but this is the least recoiled rifle that I have shot my entire life um, you get the stretch of that high-powered rifle, that hunting rifle, um, but you get the recoil of not a rifle, which is incredible. Um, so we'll start up here at the front. Um, we've got a, a nice 6x9 bipod um, that I picked up off online. Um, we're hopefully going to hopefully gonna be putting a swagger bipod on here soon, um, but just to get a bipod on it to start off, we started with that. Um, we got a 3x9 um, 40 scope um, and then what we've got sitting here is we've got a Boyd's At One um, stock. Um, so it came um, from uh, manufacturing just a black, black stock um, but I dropped it into a Boyd's um, Pepper Laminate At One stock. Um, so it's got these nice adjustable um, cheek riser, um, adjustable back. Um, but this gun um, I have been nothing but impressed with. Um, we've got a, a four round magazine that clips in the bottom here and like I said this gun has been nothing but um, it's treated me very well. So very looking forward to seeing um, if we can get some coyotes um, behind that barrel or possibly um, deer here this fall. Alright guys, so the next gun up is my newest addition to my collection. I got this rifle about a month and a half ago, about the same time Johnny got his. Um, it's a Savage Axis 30-06. Um, it definitely packs a pretty large punch, uh, a little more than John's Creedmoor. Uh, mine does pack a bigger punch, but Johnny's, uh, the one thing I noticed is that the recoil on his is much less than mine. So that's starting off with one thing I really enjoy about this gun is this recoil pad on the back. With the large uh, punch I'm packing with this gun, this re recoil pad really helps to absorb some of that kick from the gun. I really enjoy it. it offers quite a bit of support. Um, two, I really love this camo stock color on it. I think it adds a pretty cool looking touch to it, but that's just my opinion. Um, I also have the same exact bipod that Johnny has on his. I think we ordered them at the pretty much the same time. Uh, it, it seemed it was really easy to put on. It's really stable, and it just gets the job done. Up here, I got a Weaver 40 millimeter 3 by 9 scope. It's got the job done so far, but here in the near future, I'm looking at potentially upgrading this to get one with a little more zoom on it, um, just for reaching some of those farther shots. But to say the least, I've been really happy with this gun so far. It hasn't got to kill a live animal yet but I definitely got its time in at the shooting range, but we got a lot of time coming up with more coyote hunting and then 
counting down the time till deer again here in about seven months, seven, eight months. So looking forward to it. Next we've got a Remington 1100 shotgun 12 gauge, semi-automatic. Um, I've had this gun for a couple of years. Um, I actually got it off trade. Um, I traded a muzzle loader for it. Um, just an all around um, basic but yet good gun. Um, I got the slug barrel on right now. Um, haven't had it out since deer season, um, but the bird barrel's back in the safe. Um, it is empty. Um, We've got some nice engravings here. Uh, I've taken it pheasant hunting a couple times. It's just been a really good all around gun. Um, easy to take apart, easy to clean, and yeah, um, just your basic, simple 12 gauge shotgun. All right, here guys, we have a Benelli 12 gauge shotgun. I use this gun for a lot of different types of hunting. I use it for deer, I use it for turkey, and Recently I've been using it for crow, which has been a pretty interesting endeavor to say the least. I can get into that in later videos though. So for a few specs of the gun, the gun can hold three different shells at a time. It can hold one in the chamber and it can hold two in the storage compartment on the bottom. The gun is also a semi-auto shotgun, which I find to come in handy whenever I'm crow hunting. When I have multiple crow coming at a time, I can get three shells out of the gun at a pretty fast pace. But I really love this gun, it's really accurate, whenever I've gone hunting with it, it's got the job done, and I use, also use it a lot of times for clay pigeon shooting whenever I go with my friends, so I'm excited to get it out in a couple months again when turkey season comes around and put it back to the test. Last but not least, I've got the old trusty uh, Quest Hammer. Um, it's it's an older model, um, and I've had it for quite some time now. But we made quite a few of improvements. Um, we put a I put a custom um, wrist sling on there. Um, we've got a new peep sight, and then um, my recent addition um, that I had to improv to at the middle of the year was my drop down rest. Um, so I used to have camo um, felt on it. Um, that way when you release um, it doesn't cause so much um, noise. Um, I think in one of our hunting videos um, for our deer hunting I was out at the hayfield one night and when I pulled back I think you guys could hear my arrow dragging along my drop down rest. Um, so about a week later I made the improvement and I stuck a small foam piece on my drop down rest. Um, my wife is actually a third grade teacher and she's had, she had some foam basketball stickers so I cut one up and put that on there for um, the time being. Um, I haven't had the bow out very much um, just because um, we've been doing hunting with our rifles and shotguns for uh, some coyotes and foxes and things like that. Um, but yeah, so pretty simple. Um, really nothing special about it. Um, I recently um, got some new arrows, um, the 350 grain um, Carbon Express arrows um, with some bowing fletching and then we just had some um, Region Outdoors um, arrow wraps um, built by Whitewater Archery. Um, they are just some incredible little stickers. Um, they are durable. Um, they don't peel, anything like that, so if you guys get the chance, I would check them out. Very reasonable for a very good sticker. So yeah, um, this is the bow that I shot that buck with this year, and I'm looking forward to many other hunts with it. Alright guys, so to finish it off, I have my PSE Stinger X bow. I've had this bow for about four years. I bought it when I was back in high school from a local Cabela's, and ever since then, I've been using it every deer season, and it's always gotten the job done, and I can always rely on it when the time comes. So just to go over a little bit about the bow, here in the front, I have a five arrow quiver. I have a whisker biscuit on it. I also use a three pin sight. I know this is a debated topic among bow hunters on 
whether you use a one pin, a five, a three. I've always just enjoyed using the three. That's just my opinion. But overall, this is a really good bow, and I've I'm excited to continue using it. I'd actually like to get my first turkey with it this year, so we'll see how that goes. But up here I have a couple of the different arrows I shoot. I shoot two different brands. I shoot Velocity and I also shoot Carbon Express. I think these are both really good brands and I enjoy using them both. I also have two different broadheads. I had just an older mechanical on, it, uh, on the Velocity arrow and I actually have a Rage broadhead on the Carbon Express. So with both of these arrows and both of these broadheads, uh, I have full trust in them and I have full trust in my bow as well. But yeah, these are just a little bit about my bow setup. Alright guys, that concludes another episode of TRO TV. Uh, we appreciate the, the time that you guys gave to watch that video and uh, leave some comments below about um, what you guys think or what you guys recommend as far as maybe a new bow, a new shotgun, a new rifle, or even let us know what you guys use. We love um, getting feedback from you guys. So. Enjoy the video. Um, happy 2020, and we uh, are just really looking forward to um, coming at you guys with some new footage this year, um, some coyote footage, and uh, getting you guys some turkey and deer footage as well.